Who's an idiot? Me. Jimmy's an idiot? <laughs> Oh, I know. We're talking about Guilty decisions guilt. that we made early on in our careers that we wish we could change. Yeah. You're talking about starting here? Regretting it? No, no this is our, right our, now, our right? favorite place. <laughs> starting here and regretting yeah. it. No, this is where I want to be. Look Good morning, here, everyone. Yes. Today in AZ After Show. I, I feel like you're like, here. are you okay in there? You got enough room? The guys are like on top of you. I kind of like it. Good. It makes me look skinnier. <laughs> I like that. And she likes my lady Stetson, uh, which I wear every morning. I will take way. anything at this point, making me look smaller or crowded, whatever. I, my life is crowded. So how do you feel at this moment? Because, I mean, you, every morning, you are just like a rock star. Like, oh. if, like there's no issue. Like, I'm if you're not even crying. pregnant. That's how I feel. I'm going <laughs> to start crying. <laughs> uh, oh. 39 weeks, right? 39 weeks. It could come any day. I've never gone past 39 what weeks. So this What's is, happening? What's it, what is it like to feel pregnant? You know, it is the best men feeling Men think in the about world. that. Like you have a lot of life growing in you. Do, you. do you feel it? Do you See, feel it connected? I, I don't know if women out there feel the same way, but after you like, have the baby, you feel sad, like a little sad that you don't have the baby Aww, in your belly anymore. Moving in there anymore. Yeah. Like, you Can know. you feel it in there? Can you feel yes. him like moving in, in her? And the coolest her? thing, my doctor, my doctor's delivered. Doctor Beck, he's over in the East Valley. He has delivered close to, I think, is it sixteen thousand babies. Wow! And he can look at my stomach and tell me where the baby is. <gasps> oh yeah, really? It's yeah. so I'm wild. Believer. It is so interesting. And like just those little kicks and movements. It's. I'm sorry, if you're gonna throw up. But this it's the great. funnest. Oh, it's man. the most. Because when I gain a lot of weight, yeah. like in my gut, yeah, I, I feel nothing. <laughs> sad. I feel you do feel sad. You sad. feel like you're going to cry. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. kicks. When you have a food no baby. kicks. Yeah. No nothing. Until oh, I do jumping just... jacks a little. Wait, it oh. is neat. Like earlier this morning, she's like, look, feel my belly. And I could feel her kicking and yeah. like really hard. I was like, whoa. It's so fun. Yeah. It's just, like, it just makes you feel like. You're really doing something. Oh, do you know what I mean? I think the last baby. <laughs> yeah, Mama, I what, do know what you mean. One of the babies you've had, you were on the desk, and I think oh, you said dear. something, and I could see it. Like it was, it was crazy. It was like, <laughs> it's like an alien. Like, mm. oh my gosh! I love You're, how you have to say to one of the babies. Fellas, you've had. Yeah. One of oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. And I think you should have ten more. You have beautiful children, so. beautiful husband, beautiful so life, beautiful fun. person. I think you should yeah. populate this world with yeah. more. The sweetest More thing on the planet. More Again, I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though, it suits you well. Like, you like you know, we've seen other people that have been pregnant and co-workers, and they're having a hard time because, you know, they're getting bigger, and they, things are it swelling hard, up, and, man. you know, and you just, it's like. How tired are you uh, of talking about being pregnant? I'm not tired of it. Not tired. I really, she loves I'm going to miss it. Yeah. I really am going to miss it. The babies really are much tougher to keep track of once they're not inside you anymore. Without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, like, anywhere. they eat when I eat. Right. You can't hear them cry. Yep. You know, you have to worry about the bathroom or the diapers sure. or anything it's like all that. It's just in there. It's so much easier when, when you're pregnant. Yeah. How long does it take before they get easier? Because I'm, I'm kind of asking for 18, 19. You know what's a bummer? What? So I had my first, and then I had my second right after. Okay. So it was just like, baby, baby. Then I've waited. Now it's, I think the Beverly and this baby will be two and a half years apart. And Beverly is just at that age where she's so easy. Okay. I mean, like, she... Can play on her own and like kind of I know two and a half. They're getting more independent though. More independent, yeah. and then we're going right back into it. So I'm like, next time, if there's a next time. Yes, there will there be. There will be for um, sure. We just need to have it quick because <laughs> because it's easier when they're closer together. Yeah. Is Don't there some kind of food you can eat though that would help promote like uh, multiple children? You know, <gasps> twins. Like if you mix <laughs> cucumbers and peanut butter, I think that that. Do you guys know? Yeah. Yeah. I would love, love that. Organic. Organic. You guys, you want to know what? One thing that I have never done is have a baby. Yeah. Ah. So that's the texting topic that we're carrying over into the Today and AZ After Show. By the way, hi, thanks for watching. Paul, yes. Emma, Vanessa, Jimmy. Um, we want to know what you've never, ever done. Apparently there was a round of this taking over social media overnight. Uh, and it, the more mundane, the better, I feel like. Yeah. If you have not done something that you feel like everyone else has done, hop in the comment section and, and give it to us. We've got a bunch of good responses already, Vanessa. Where are we at? It says, I've never rode a Harley Davidson motorcycle. That's from Arlo. I've also ne I've never driven a motorcycle. Um, Chris says, skydive. I haven't done that either. Are we, are we playing this game where we're going to raise our hands if we haven't done it? Yeah. So let's go through the comments. So uh, Faral says, I've got to keep this to myself. <laughs> okay. You keep your secrets. I don't want to out you. <laughs> oh, freaky. Uh, go to Wait. Disneyland. Who this hasn't been to Disneyland? Is Disneyland the one in California? Yeah. I've, been, I've never been to Disneyland. I've been to both wow. Disneyland and Disney World. I've only been to the world. What's better, Disney World or Disneyland? They're both really good parks. Oh, you're not going to oh. say. He likes oh. really good he parks. He loves Orlando. like world. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Mowgli, never watched Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad. I've never seen Game of Thrones. Oh, I've never seen Breaking Bad. Oh, I have seen Breaking Bad. I've never seen Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, no Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, oh, Kristen said, I've never bought a lottery ticket. Oh, I buy lottery tickets yeah. every time the Powerball gets high. Yeah, you're missing out. Oh, Brian said, 40 years old and no tattoos. Oh. No tattoos no tats. here either. Uh, Kevin says he's never been to Vegas or Disney. I know she didn't raise your hand about that. <laughs> thing. Weird. What does she want to start? She's all in. Oh, we won't talk about him. <laughs> uh, Vegas, Vegas. Uh, anyone ever been to Vegas? Oh, yeah. In the Vegas. In the Vegas. Yeah. Ooh, Try to change Chantel. Let us know what What's that? Chantel said, I've never drank a cup of coffee. Have you never had coffee? You've tasted it. I've coffee. tasted it. I've tasted it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't like I've it. never had, had a full cup. cup, though. Mm -mm. Well, there no. you go. I don't like I it. I haven't had a cup of coffee in about an hour. And you, uh, one second. Third cup. Yeah. No, oh, Vanessa, because <laughs> I, I, like, if I'm super tired, I'll do Diet Coke. He obviously has coffee, coffee. Some, mainly I do tea, anything though. liquid tea, yeah. tea, coffee. So I'll do Diet Dr. Pepper. Honestly? Yeah. I, I do drink kombucha just because I feel like it keeps my tummy from feeling bloated. Um, no gargling, like making hunger noises yeah. <laughs> um, from there. But no, I don't drink anything. If if I absolutely have to, then I'll try green tea. Mm. But I used to drink like the energy drinks, but I gave those up because they have so much sugar in them. So Remember much. after our dietitian showed yes. us how much sugar is even in soda. Amy McAllister came in just a few days ago to talk to us about that. There's a lot of discussion right now on whether the government should step in with sugary drinks in kids. Well, no, diabetes kids. is, which I work with that event, is exploding. It's an epidemic in our society. It's huge. Yes, exactly. sugar and, and yeah. So, so she broke sure. down just like typical drinks and how much sugar and showed us how much sugar is inside and the energy drinks. They're like 27 astronomical. grams of sugar. Yeah, that's insane. You got to get the diet once if you're going to do it, but that's that's just different no, chemicals. Oh, yeah. So I just avoid it altogether. That's just different no sugar, chemicals. Though. You're yeah, right. I don't know. See, Emma, if I can quit the energy drinks, you can quit the Diet Coke. <clears throat> we have to, you know what, though? You <laughs> yeah, got, I'm with you, you on have this. A vice Go ahead, in life. say it. You yeah. have to. Because I, I only vice. get one shot at this yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to live it yeah. drinking kombucha. Yeah, I'm not drinking weed. You share it with me every morning. Yeah, along with everything else I drink. And what would be your vice? We came not say. You know what's oh no, I love booze, man. I love the booze. Yeah. I love wine. I got to regulate it because it'll destroy my you life do like right. anybody and you else. Do yeah, I, I have to put the brakes and look yeah. in the mirror and say, okay, we're gonna take a break. But yeah, you know what's probably worse for you than that Coca-Cola? The steak and potatoes dinner that you ate. That'll kill you faster. It yeah. really will. Yeah. So listen, everything is bad for you. Breaking yeah. news. So you just gotta pick and choose. You yeah. can't have all the bad things. Yeah, too much. Uh, thing. Speaking of things that are bad, bad for you, I know. Gotta I take a say. time out for this to get to the dessert bracket because if we ignore it, no one's gonna vote in the poll, and then we're gonna have to scuttle our whole plans Come on this on thing. Now. <laughs> we do have a matchup right now. There's a graphic over it. Now it's gone. Ice cream cake versus gelato. Mm. You have to decide who survives and advances. Bear with us. The dessert bracket is almost finished. It'll be done on Monday, so we just got to get these last few desserts through. Yeah. You decide who's advancing. Ice cream cake upset ice cream in the first round, which is like the son killing the father. That's it's like an Oedipus saying. complex what here. What on earth? Uh, looks like it might take down Oedipus gelato, complex. too. Jimmy knows well what an said. Oedipus complex Well said is right. Oh, yeah. My uh, doctor tells me that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know if, if, do you guys want to run the story time thing so we can talk gelato? You can run story time anytime. Hit the graphic. Story, 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 story time. time. Oh, my gosh. That's a, I wish you guys' heads were bopping. We would put your face on the graphic if you were I'm here, Mom. never here. I just, I just wish you would hang out with And I'm us. not going to be here for another three months. Uh, Where are you going? Yeah, right. Gelato. Okay. Italy. Yeah. Walking around. I mean, oh, is yeah. there? Done. Listen, oh, if, back Thank in the you. day, I would have probably gone with ice cream cake. But when you have been walking all day on the oh. cobblestone streets of Italy, oh and Roma, stop inside. Yes, one of those gelato shops outside the Trevi Fountain. Uh, oh, outside yeah. the Trevi Fountain. Yes, yes. or maybe on the way to the Vatican. On the way, or but to both. Oh, yes, you know? why, through, through the why Vatican. Why starve yourself? Very nice. One there of the trucks is... outside the Colosseum. Yeah. Now Paul <laughs> actually did that the same thing, but he couldn't remember. <laughs> right. <laughs> he totally forgot. <laughs> All forgot that he went okay. to Korea and Brazil. Two yesterday. more graphics requests. <laughs> European adventures with Jimmy Q. Yeah. We'll get a little like Captain's yeah. hat oh, yeah, or something. Traveling, like a European scarf, like an ascot. Yeah, totally. And then stuff Paul forgot. It's another <laughs> another graphic we'll bring up. And we'll be like, remember that concert you went to? And I'll be like, no. And then they'll no. show a picture of me at it. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I did go to that. I can't wait to see the picture of Paul at some Mexican cafe four years ago eating like five tamales. tamales. <laughs> 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 totally.
coming down off his like, chin. To always agree. Well, yeah, I guess yeah. I did eat them. They were pretty good. I forgot about that. <laughs> he ate them with the corn husk on it. Old age, adverse schedules. Yeah, yeah. the corn husk is the best part. It's crispy. Adverse it's fiber. Good fiber. It's the schedule and and old age. And and I also drink uh, from time to time too. Huh? So you forget oh, yeah. stuff. Yes, I mean, it things happens. Things fall through the cracks. I'll tell you something, son. It gets worse. Yeah, I know it does. <laughs> I'm gonna be a riot when I'm like 60 or 70. Oh, yeah. so I'm just gonna be making stuff up at this point. It's, but it's, once you get over lies. a certain age, and I haven't gotten there yet, but they say once you get over like a, like say the people just let you. Yeah. Sure. See, when you're younger, yes. they challenge yeah, you. But when true. you get older, they just okay. Yeah. Just and then they then they talk crap behind <laughs> your back. Like Jimmy said, he went to the moon. Like, he's so full of it. He's, <laughs> he's not an astronaut. astronaut. Yeah. He's not an astronaut. He saw the moon in his backyard. Jimmy's lost it. But that's that's one of the luxuries of old age. I think some of some of our older viewers might might relate to this in that you can pretty much just do what you want. Because people are gonna stop hassling. You can ramble about the most crazy politics. People. I was just hanging out with my grandmother last this past weekend, and she had 12 kids. A lot. So then somebody asked her. Service. They're like, what? Um, what? Which one was your most difficult delivery? She goes. I don't know. I don't remember any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, my parents say the exact same thing. Uh -oh. I like, you know, you, you want. You're not like, going to remember that? You want these great stories of like, oh, my parents said I was like this. When, yeah. You know, like I was, I had a microphone and I was, you know, yeah. recording the news. Right. You know, the same thing. But they, they had nine kids. Mm -hmm. That's still and a my, lot of kids. Yeah, my, yeah. Hus my husband. That's blackjack between the two of you. That's why you want kids. That's a lot. My dad is like, I can't remember a single one. <laughs> but I don't know if that's a trauma or just. Yeah. Like, that, like they they do say though that's why pe women continue to get pregnant because you just forget how yeah because you're getting you're, you're putting something uh, the size of a basketball outside of a peach hole and uh, that'd be traumatic <laughs> peach hole you know what the so, hell's a peach it, hole sorry about that yeah the size of a peach, peach something could fit in there if, if guys had to give birth you know what we'd be we'd be excited I'm not the one that said something if we had to put today. it through that thing. I'm gonna start referring to it as a peach hole. I'm not. I'm. I sure as heck am not. <laughs> no. Nope. Gotta go to the doctor and get my no. peach hole looked at. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will never say that. Actually. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh, oh. I'm looking forward to the next couple days. I'd everyone. be like, I'm done. Good thing this is on the internet and not on TV. Um, we want to get back. Where are we going to, to next? You never have I ever comments. <laughs> never have I ever referred to it as a peach hole. People um, wonder why woo. I don't come on the yeah. show. I it's mean, a little, like, we know it now, little credibility. Yeah. Wait, Pamela, Shocking. I am shocked. She has never been to the Arizona State Fair. Oh, oh. I went once. I, I have been. I've been to I've been one to of work. them, either the Maricopa or the State yeah. Fair. I, I go remember. every year. Yeah, that's so cool. It's, it's just tradition. something that, a tradition that I've started since yeah. I was a little girl. And what? I go, you got to well, eat. And you do something specific. Did you get it? Um, get so. the Indian the fried bread and the slide. Yes, yeah. Indian fried bread is a must. And then I go down the slide every year. You got it. What are you doing? You got it. You got it. Here, Give it to Vanessa. Five bucks to eat it. Yeah. Just kidding. Never have I ever eaten a bug. Good protein. Oh, yeah. so, I went to the New Mexico State Fair, and then I used to live in California, Del San Diego, Del Mar. So I'm just, I know it's a great state fair, but I just don't want, I'll never give up the fact that those are the two greatest state fairs, because I grew up on those state yeah. fairs. So. Well, it's the same thing, like, because I grew up this going to. This is yours, so it's the, the greatest. Yeah, so when you move to Poughkeepsie, and you become the main traffic <laughs> reporter in Poughkeepsie or Oshkosh, yeah. Oshkosh. you're never going to go to their state. Peach no, country Oshkosh out there. already denied her. Uh, yeah, peach oh. country. Uh, peach Christine peach says country. she's never had Botox. I've never had Botox. I told my Botox story yesterday. Yeah. The one time that you've done it one time. I've done it one time. Too. Yours was good, though. No, remember I told you my eyebrows are like this. <laughs> well, that's what I was hoping would happen to me, and it did not. So I got Botox one time again in between children, so everyone don't freak out. But this was in between having babies. Yeah. And my face went down. Oh. You, didn't I show you? I, 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 I do must have, yeah. Yes, and my eyes were more tired. I was hoping that it would do what it does for everyone else, which is like make you look awake. And oh. Well, I was too excited all the time. <laughs> I was like, hey, this guys. Is really jazzed. Yeah. Uh, I can relate to Jane's struggle here. I have never had a dishwasher. That's one of those things. I have a dishwasher now, but but as you, like, move up in your career and, and you start, like, getting those basic amenities, like, I didn't have a washer and dryer in the place I lived until I moved to Phoenix. Oh, wow. My entire adult life. You know, I moved out at 17 until I was in my 30s. It almost 15 years without a washer and dryer really? in the That's yeah. surprising. I could never afford it. Because my, my first job was in Idaho Falls, and I paid $500, $550 a month for my own apartment. And it was actually a really, like, Boy, Idaho a Falls, decent yeah. apartment. I know. Yeah. But it was a decent apartment. I had a washer and dryer. Heck, I, I'd move there now. That's actually more than my rent was yeah. in Boise when I was there. I was paying, like, three ninety a month. But my for apartment your own? Was, yeah, it wasn't great, though. Oh, my apartment uh, was, it was behind nice. Behind the bar. How old were you when you moved out? Oof. When I moved like into my own apartment, yeah, Sketchy living by yourself. How old was I? Um, right when I graduated college, the second I graduated. So 22, how old? 21. 
21, yeah. yeah. I was 28, but... <laughs> Yeah. Well, you had to, you had to redo sixth and seventh yeah, grade a couple times. You know, yeah. it takes a while. <laughs> yeah, I was really young, and it was so scary for me because, yeah. again, I grew up in a household of nine children, so I was never alone. So I had my own apartment, and it was like any noise was someone trying to get me. Sure. Yeah. 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 It was. You're horrifying. all hiding under the covers. Yes. <laughs> how was the bathroom? Going to the bathroom with like nine kids. Did people like kick doors open and stuff. So all you know the how time? the Brady Bunch had one bathroom? Yeah. We had one bathroom and one shower. Yeah. People were might have been kicking doors open. On Every people. single time we'd come home from the beach because that's all we did. Someone was like, up. "Just a second. Yeah, no, it was always like in in the car on the drive home. You would call who would get the first shower, second shower, third shower, fourth mm -hmm. shower, fifth shower, and um, during that time, the further down you got, the more you realize it's going to be freezing cold. Yeah, and it's going to be days nervous. before I get to shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait till tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, if you guys are just joining the Today and Easy After Show, uh, hi. First of all, second of all, we got two concurrent things we'd like you to participate in. We're playing Never Have I Ever. Yeah. So if you haven't done something or would like to do something or whatever, just hop in the comment section and let us know what that thing is. Uh, two, we want you to vote in our dessert bracket challenge right now. We've got a live interactive poll. Uh, it's what, what's, what's the matter? Ice cream cake. Ice cream cake against gelato. gelato. Right now, ice cream cake, 69%. Woo! Nice. Um, ice cream cake, now the favorite to move on. Uh, let's get back to these. Shelly says, never been on a cruise. Oh, me either. What? Yeah, I'm right there. I love them. I hear that they're great. Have you? I've been on two. One was good, one was not. Was really? One in Brazil? Uh, no, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> That's another time I was an in international. Uh, I was in the Bahamas. I was, yeah. Oh, I don't. Wow. I didn't remember. We remembered a new spot places. that he's been to. That Thanks he for jogging my memory. Wow, that's yeah. That's great. Uh, Marilyn uh, never ziplined across, or she did zipline across the Royal Gorge in Cannon City, Colorado. She's just bragging. Wow. Sounds cool, Marilyn. Ooh, uh, Nick Heather. Nick's lived here for 26 years, never been to the Grand Canyon. I've also never been. Well, I've never been married. That's what Heather said. I've also never been I went to married. the Grand Canyon in the third grade, and I, there's no need for me to go back. It's just a big hole. It's still there. That's it. Yeah. yeah. My wife's been there. She went there when she first moved here, like everyone else, and mm -hmm. we're, we're both just done with it, really. Yeah. <laughs> we did the big helicopter ride over the Grand Canyon. That's outside. amazing. Well, it was for the first five minutes until I got so sick, I wanted to close my eyes. Oh, and and he, really? and that, that costs some coin, doesn't That's it? That's why I could never go on The Bachelor. Because, like, going to like reason. that, well, yeah. that is the reason. The three kids and the husband, nope. that's still okay. It's kind of a buzzkill. That would be yeah. a fun reveal at the end of the show, though. <laughs> oh, by the way, you just bought the farm. <laughs> Heads up. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, like, the helicopter ride was, mm. oh, gosh, yeah. it made me so sick. No, but, thanks. I was, I was flying in a helicopter over San Diego, uh, our. our Sky 10 for school, at the time. Or not for school. Sky 10 for work. <laughs> for work, for school. And, and he was banking hard right over the downtown area, <gasps> and my door opened wide, just flew wide open. And I just sat, I just actually, I have a great sense of humor. I just started laughing. I'm like, this is the, st I'm, this is the <laughs> stupidest way to die, I thought, ever. <laughs> and he reaches over, he's flying, he's like, Ugh. he just reaches over across my lap, grabs the door, goes, <laughs> levels it back off. Oh, and I just wow. thought, this is the funniest Gosh. thing ever. Yeah. Look out. Wow. Uh, right. By the way, uh, Jimmy, you owe Michael a coffee. Apparently, he shot coffee out of his nose when you said peach hole. So, <laughs> Michael, uh, Jimmy owes you one. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, how, about, how about this one real quick? Sorry, Vanessa, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Um, <laughs> never had a vacation from Harold. What was, like, the last legit vacation oh. that you guys took that wasn't, like, work-related? Oh, oh I Germany. Yeah. Yeah, the one where you tried to work the next day? That yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to Sundance Ski Resort just a couple months ago. Oh, yeah, I remember those yeah. pictures. Yeah. Ben has right, never right. gone to a concert. Wow. Ooh. Ben, oh, you should check Palmer. out a concert sometime. Paul McCartney. I don't, I don't go to that. a lot of concerts. I, mean, I went to Coldplay, Van Halen. I wish I would have gone to Coldplay when they were here. That was really good. You know what? That's they're, something that's great about living awesome. in Phoenix is that we get great concerts. So J-Lo's coming. coming. New Kids on the major Block. City. Cher. Cher. Phil, Phil Collins. Collins. You, I, I was thinking weather-wise, meteorologically speaking, do you, do you have any idea if we have like an ocean and all of a sudden we got rid of our summers? This place would blow up. This would be bigger than Los Angeles. Can you imagine how it would much money be it would cost a, to live here? Then? A, a pit of expensive real estate, gang violence, you know, traffic on the freeway. It would ruin everything. Well, let's think about this though, because the San Andreas Fault is going to crack at some point, and California is going to fall off into the ocean, and then we've got beachfront uh, uh, property. This used to be a that, shallow ocean. I need to ocean figure out a place where my parents to live here. Which actually, I think I got it set up, so we're good. Mm. Thankfully, it's a great place to retire. A lot of yeah. oh man, they could they could. Could bring a lot of coin over here, from, Susie, like a lot of California. Susie Crouch has never eaten a McDonald's hamburger. <gasps> You're the last one, Susie. Are you you really, hold on to that. Why? Tell me why you haven't. I only just recently. But have uh, you had a hamburger? 
somewhere. That's that. You're not missing anything. You're it's not just fast anything. food, man. Yeah. Like I don't know, whatever. People that are always about like In and Out is one of those like because uh. you can't get it everywhere. So people here are like oh, In and Out. There's an In and Out in Phoenix. I have to go. Listen, it's a good cheeseburger. It's, it's fast food. You're gonna eat it in your car like a slob that you are. It is what it is. It's just a cheeseburger. I love eating uh, fast food by myself. I love eating it in the car. I am that slob. Mm. Mm. The other night we did a midnight run to In and Out. When? It That's was nice. Their line Saturday is always night. so Saturday long. Night. That's why I always pass so it by. We're like, coming from the wine night. festival. <gasps> and, uh, oh, what a great time to go right oh, after Oh, my that. wife was having a craving. Yeah. And I, we were passing by hamburger joint after hamburger. She said, no. In and I out. I want in and out. Yep. How about Five Guys? No. How about, you know, Jack? No. Well, the only bummer about Five Guys is they don't have a drive through Nope, don't. Yeah. So this was great, man. Sitting in the car. Mm -hmm. Two big bags, fries Heck filled yeah. up at the top. Mm -hmm. We had a bunch of other segments planned for the show, but we ran out of time because Emma is so talkative. This um, is good. I'm but you know, she always has a lot to say when she we does. No, I it's love fantastic it. having her on, and we appreciate uh, you guys stopping by. One last time, dessert bracket because we got to write the winner on the big board over here. Who we got? Ice cream cake. No surprises here. here. Ice cream cake will face milkshakes in the frozen bracket uh, next week. No, maybe Friday. I think probably Friday. I'm really bad at math. I can't predict things. Um, tomorrow on Today in AZ, Cakes and Pies region back in action. Coffee cake against blueberry pie. To me, it's, mm. it's coffee, coffee cake. I don't want either one. Uh, on the after show, brownies and Girl Scout cookies. Brownies. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Mm. Gooey, ooey brownies. That's can't wait to find out what we have. I miss the, the days when we all worked in factories and on the fields, and we could eat this food every day nonstop. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's when it was all that? invented, all this stuff. On the peach farm you used to work everything, at? Everything. The peach farm, the sausage, the gravy on top of everything. Gross. Guys Bye. had six packs. I love you. I Thanks mean, for stopping people, by. I mean, people, men were See men back tomorrow. then. <laughs> women were women. <laughs> yeah.